In the 70s, the Voyager probe set out on an unparalleled adventure into space. For more than 45 years, these very truly built and equipped probes have furnished unique records. They had been the first man-made objects to conquer interstellar space. Voyager 1, particularly, has amazed NASA since its flight into the far reaches of space several million kilometers from Earth. The probe abruptly picked up an abnormal signal. Before we take a closer look at this and other exciting discoveries of Voyager 1, we would like to invite you to make a contribution to our channel. We welcome any feedback that fits the topic and adds actual value for our visitors. If you're one of our subscribers, we will constantly reward your contribution with a heart and we'll pin your contribution to the top where it will be read first by everyone. Just make sure you have already subscribed, like the video, and mention each at the beginning of your comment. Radio Waves and Interstellar Space In 2012, VOI, one entered interstellar space. This is the sphere of space that is outside the effective range of our solar system, as well as the effective ranges of the closest stars. To this day, interstellar space is full of mysteries. We know little of what goes on in this seemingly empty area. Since Voyager 1 was built in the 70s, it's a very simple technical device. Voyager 1 and its sister probe, Voyager 2, were equipped with simple measuring devices, cameras, and radio wave receivers. The cameras were switched off a few years ago to save power. However, the radio wave receivers are still active. It was here that something most bizarre happened just recently. For a long time, it was quiet in the area of Voyager 1, but then the probe sent sounds to Earth that awoke researchers. At a distance of 23 billion kilometers from Earth, a faint, chronic hum suddenly revealed itself. According to scientists, the hum was so faint that it needed to be technically amplified to make it audible at all. After the news that humans had received the first sounds from interstellar space, scientists also immediately provided an explanation. Very likely, the weak waves originate from gases in the interstellar medium, which consists primarily of hydrogen and plasma. There are disturbances that are very likely still a result of the impact of the solar winds even this far out in space. It remains to be seen what other data Voyager 1 and 2 will send in the coming months. Both probes will likely continue to fly through space for many years. However, NASA expects that radio contact with the probes will break off this year or next year at the latest. This will mark the end of an era that has lasted more than 45 years and has provided humans with unique insights into space. After all, the Voyager probes were the first to comprehensively examine and photograph the outer planets, as well as provide impressions of the Kuiper belt and far-flung regions of the solar system. Where does the solar system end? Researchers have long been unable to answer the question of where our solar system truly ends and interstellar space begins. Our star continuously sends streams of plasma into space through its solar winds, forming a spherical hemisphere in which the entire star system is embedded. After spending the first many years of their flight studying the planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, the probes flew farther and farther into areas that had never been studied before. On their long journey, these probes were and are exposed to great stresses and strains, and yet the technology functioned perfectly all these years. Today, experts attribute this fact to the simple but effective way both probes were built. The technical difference between the Voyager probes and modern probes corresponds roughly to that between an MP3 player and a tape recorder or a smartphone with a dial phone. Of course, researchers hope that the technology might last long enough for us on Earth to finally get data from the end of the solar system for the first time. Those expectations were to be fulfilled a few years after Voyager 1 left the last planets behind. The probe radioed data from rapidly changing magnetic fields, having never before seen or measured where and how our sun's catchment ends. Researchers did not know where layers of the heliosphere Voyager 1 was truly located scientifically. Astronomers were entering uncharted territory with this challenge. The excitement on Earth was extraordinary, and every signal, every movement of the probe's measuring devices, was received with great excitement. The end of the solar sphere seems to be dominated by flares. You can imagine it as billowing winds and fields that sometimes overlap and become weaker and stronger in places. Researchers could even measure a violent sunflare weeks later at the edge of the solar system. It's how long it took the plasma streams to travel the 10 to 15 billion kilometers to the end of the solar system. 
Plasma streams move through space at a speed of about 1,000 km per second. This makes them much slower than light. To reach Earth, a plasma flow from the Sun typically takes only one to two days. Voyager provided data from interesting flows of particles and solar winds and was able to receive radio waves from flares far from the Sun for the first time. At the very edge of the heliosphere, the Sun's plasma clouds, which are still comparatively warm and less dense, encounter cooler and denser interstellar plasma. The drag shapes the heliosphere and compresses it on the outermost side. Voyager measurements showed much denser flows just before the probe entered interstellar space. For sure, our solar system is not static in space or firmly suspended in plasma. Instead, the Sun and its planets move through the interstellar medium at a velocity of about 84,000 km per hour. Through Voyager measurements at the edge of the heliosphere, these numbers could be confirmed for the first time. So, in a sense, the solar system was flying along with the tiny probe. It was a great wonder to see how the probe's flight behavior changed as soon as it entered interstellar space. The mystery of interstellar space, we know very little so far about the vast space between stars and star systems. Between the absolute end of the solar system, the heliopause, and the closest star, there are empty spaces with an extension of 40 trillion kilometers. Then we might be at our next star neighbor, Alpha Centauri. From there, it's again trillions of kilometers to the next star, and so on. To date, we already know that interstellar space is never empty. Instead, it contains gases, debris, beams of light traveling through space, and the mysterious dark matter. The interstellar medium may be called the breeding ground of the cosmos or space itself. As late as the beginning of the 20th century, researchers thought the space where our universe is located was truly empty and that the stars and planets were firmly suspended within it. Only through the work of Albert Einstein and some of his contemporaries can we understand that the entire universe is highly mobile, and all objects are on a constant journey and subject to change. Interstellar space and its underlying structures very possibly harbor previously unknown forms of matter as well as structures and filaments along which the known forms of the universe move. Where are the Voyager probes headed? Each Voyager probe is equipped with plutonium batteries that have remarkably long lifetimes but are still not inexhaustible. Some of the measuring devices and the cameras of the probes were switched off at the latest after the passage of the heliopause in order to save valuable power. Communication with the probes works even over this significant distance through relatively normal radio waves. In the meantime, the signal needs about 23 hours to reach Earth. As stated earlier, radio contact with Voyager 1 will break off at some point during the year. Then, the probe and its sister probe, which has also been in interstellar space for a while, will continue to fly. As for how far the probe will travel, it's open-ended. The probe can still fly for centuries or millennia through the cosmos according to current calculations. Voyager 1 will reach the star AC plus 793888 in the constellation of Ursa Minor in 38,000 years. Since the distance is likely 17 light years, the probe will probably not be captured by the star system but will continue to fly until it is attracted by a gravitational net. It might be conceivable that Voyager could enter a star system in this way, and there it would interact further due to the gravitational attraction. Paths include the probe burning up in a star, being hit by an asteroid, or being found by an extraterrestrial civilization. For this scenario, both Voyager probes have messages of our world on board. Voyager 1 and 2 were equipped with a golden record. Each of the discs contains music pieces, pictures of everyday life scenes, noises, and information about Earth and the human species stored so that extraterrestrials can access the data effectively. There's even an instruction manual with easy-to-understand pictograms. Experts anticipate that the golden disks have a durability of several billion years, so it is quite possible that the messages will be received by someone at some point. Whether we humans still exist at that time and whether a recipient civilization would be able to answer our message, we cannot know today. Of course, after more than 45 years, the Voyager missions are slowly coming to an end. The probes continue their journey, but we will not be able to follow this anymore. Scientists at NASA are pleased with the incredible success but also have some parting pain. Quite a few technicians, researchers, and other experts involved in the project have spent almost half their lives accompanying the Voyager missions. 
But it's also clear that space offers so many more exciting destinations that astrophysicists and NASA experts will certainly not get bored. We are at the end of this journey with the Voyager spacecraft for today, and thank you for watching. Now we would like to hear from you in the comments. Tell us what you think about the mysterious radio waves Voyager picked up in interstellar space. Do you think humans will be investigating the interstellar medium in the foreseeable future, and what could we possibly find there? Overall, the Voyager missions have provided humanity with invaluable insights into the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. As we contemplate the future of space exploration, the data collected by Voyager probes continue to intrigue and inspire scientists and enthusiasts alike. The Voyager missions stand as a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and curiosity about the cosmos. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were originally intended to explore the outer planets of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. However, their journey did not end there. Both probes continued to venture into uncharted territory, providing unprecedented data that reshaped our understanding of interstellar space. The primary mission of the Voyager probes was to conduct flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. These encounters revealed stunning details about the gas giant's atmospheres, moons, and magnetic fields. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first and only spacecraft to visit these distant ice giants. One of the most significant milestones came in 2012 when Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary marking the transition between the Sun's influence and interstellar space. This historic event marked the first time a human-made object had entered this vast, uncharted territory beyond our solar system. Recently, Voyager 1 detected faint radio signals emanating from the interstellar medium. These signals, although weak, provided valuable insights into the composition and dynamics of the space between stars. Scientists hypothesized that these signals could be attributed to disturbances caused by interstellar gases and plasma, shedding light on previously unknown phenomena in the interstellar medium. Despite being launched over four decades ago, both Voyager probes continue to function remarkably well. Their longevity can be attributed to their robust design and the efficiency of their systems. While some instruments, such as the cameras, have been deactivated to conserve power, essential scientific instruments like the radio wave receivers remain operational, enabling ongoing data collection. Interstellar space remains one of the least understood regions of the universe. It is characterized by sparse gas, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the remnants of exploded stars. Voyager's entry into this realm has raised intriguing questions and sparked new avenues of exploration. The interstellar medium ism, is a complex environment comprising gases, dust particles, and magnetic fields. Voyager's measurements have provided valuable data on the density, temperature, and composition of these elements. Understanding the ism is crucial for unraveling the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies. In conclusion, the Voyager missions represent a pinnacle of human achievement in space exploration. From their groundbreaking discoveries about the outer planets to their historic entry into interstellar space, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. As we reflect on their legacy and look toward the future, the lessons learned from these missions will guide humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe and explore new frontiers beyond our solar system. As technology advances and our understanding of the universe deepens, future generations of explorers will build upon the foundation laid by the Voyager missions. Their enduring legacy serves as a testament to the boundless potential of human ingenuity and the insatiable curiosity that drives us to explore the unknown. Through continued innovation, international collaboration, and public engagement, we can aspire to new heights of discovery and expand our horizons in the quest for knowledge and exploration. The journey of Voyager may be nearing its end, but its impact will resonate far into the future as we embark on the next chapter of humanity's cosmic odyssey.